Now, let's see this question. There are 15 points in a plane, no three of which are in a straight line, except six, all of which are in a straight line. The numbers of straight line which can be drawn by joining them. Now, we have already discussed that it takes two points to make one straight line, right? So, what we have to do? We have to make all the combination of two points selected from these 15 points. So, the total number of combinations are 15 C2, right? But the six points are in a straight line, right? So, we want to be getting six C2 lines by combining these points. Why? Because all of them are on a straight line. Suppose I match these two and I match this two. So, the line that I got from matching these two points will be hidden behind this line, right? So, precisely this is just one line only. Similarly, if I join all the points, I'll be getting one line. So, all the lines by combining other points will be hidden by, uh, hidden under this, uh, the complete line, right? So, what I had uh, have to do, I need to deduct all the combinations formed by these six points. So, I deducted 6C2, right? Now, what is the next thing? So, when I deducted all the combinations of two points from uh, these six points, I deducted the combination of this point and this point also, right? Because all the combinations are deducted. But I'll be getting one line by combining these two points, right? So, I need to add further one, right? So, what's the complete answer? That is 15C2 minus 6C2 plus 1. That is 15C2 minus 6C2 plus 1. I hope you are clear. Now friends, I have an interesting problem with me over here. Our parallelogram is cut by two sets of M lines parallel to the sides. The number of parallelogram thus formed is. Now friends, um, to make the problem easier, what I can do is I can take some comfortable value of M, right? So let's take the value of M as 3. You can take any value, but I am just taking 3 right that means i have drawn three lines parallel to the sides that is parallel to both the sides i just draw that so this is the situation right so now it's very easy for anybody to say the number of parallelograms this is 1 2 3 4 4 in uh, 4 into 4 that is 16 parallelograms will be formed right that's very easy to say and that's definitely there in the uh, options also bright chances are that that will be in options maybe here it is not uh, there or not i can't say now what's the mistake that we are making by calculating just 4 into 4 16 parallelograms what i'm doing over here i'm just calculating the small parallelograms these are formed right but just see this 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 is also a parallelogram similarly this 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 is also a parallelogram right so we, we cannot make the various parallelogram and keep on counting right there should be some logic behind that now what that logic is just listen to me carefully over here once again see to form a parallelogram we need two points from this line and two points from this line right now how many points are there on this line this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And how many points are there on this line? It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Right? If I select two points from this line, suppose I select, I just change the color of the pen, wait a moment. Suppose I select these two points from this line and maybe these uh, two points from this line. Right? Now, if I draw the line from these points, something like this, right? And from these two points, I'm sorry, I'm not able to draw a straight line, right? So what I get, I get a parallelogram over here. That is this parallelogram, right? It's A, B, C, D. I hope you can see. So this is A, B, C, D, one parallelogram we can see right so if we choose all the combination of two points from this line and this line we'll be getting all the like the number of com 
parallel grams that are being formed from these points right so what i have to do it's 1 2 3 4 5 i need to select two points from this uh, this line and simultaneously i have to select two points from this line so it's further 5c2 now 5c2 is what 10 into this 10 that is 100 so how many parallelograms i'll be getting that is 100 parallelograms i'll be getting okay now when m was 3 my answer is 100 now you can use the options you just put the value of m in the options and wherever you are getting the answer as 100 that will be your correct choice so this is obviously not the correct choice here 3 plus 2 5 square that is 25 by 4 this is not correct similarly 3 plus 1 4 square by 4 that's also not correct obviously this is correct because it is the last option we just put the value m is equal to 3 so 3 plus 2 5 square that is 25 into 3 plus 1 that is 4 square that is 4 into 4 by 4 so it's 100 right so when m is equal to 3 the answer is 100 so we put the value of m as 3 and got the correct choice right i take one more problem like this so the concept will be cleared in your mind once for all